Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Sheeran is in the Halloween spirit. <laughs> Greetings, ghosts and ghouls. Welcome to my channel. Please enjoy the video and have a wonderful Halloween. This next Apex was not created by Dr. Jennifer Vale, nor was it endorsed by InGen. In fact, this creature was created without their knowledge. The staff were building an enclosure for a new dinosaur that was going to be added in, when suddenly, a helicopter hovered over them with a strange creature hanging from it, as it was lowered into the enclosure and released before the helicopter zoomed away. Everyone immediately turned to Dr. Vale for answers, but she was just as confused as they were. One of the workers pointed out that the specimen kind of resembled an earlier creation that Dr. Wu created a while back, called the Indoraptor. Vale then visited Dr. Wu to confront him about the creature, but even he had no knowledge of this Apex's existence. As they talked a little more, the alarm went off, and they immediately checked the surveillance cameras. Sure enough, the creature escaped and was now running around the park causing chaos. While the ACU members attempted to capture the creature, Vale and Wu studied the fences and saw no signs of damage anywhere and that the gate was wide open, meaning that someone had purposely let it out. Meanwhile, the ACU failed to capture the creature, but not before they managed to pierce through some of its flesh, which they decided to bring back to Dr. Vale so she could study it. The team brought the sample back, and both Vale and Wu got right to work studying the genetic makeup. Turns out that the base was indeed that of the Indoraptor, and that it was also mixed with an Ovaraptorid called Rinchenia, as well as the bear dog itself, Amphicoon, which explains why the creature was covered in fur. Dr. Wu named the specimen Indochacoon and deemed it too dangerous to be showcased to the park, and they needed to recapture it and dispose of the creature. Trouble was, the Indochacoon managed to kill the majority of the ACU team, and only a handful of them were left. Then Dr. Vale had the strangest idea to use Blue Moon to go after the creature. When the staff turned their heads as if she lost her mind, Vale reminded them that she had a personal connection with Blue Moon, and Dr. Wu reluctantly agreed to set up Operation Stop Indochacoon. The gate to the Indolicen's enclosure was swung open, and Dr. Vale immediately called her wolf friend. Blue Moon immediately howled in response and rushed over to greet Vale. She then handed her the sample of the Indochacoon's DNA for the Indolicen to sniff it out. Blue Moon took one big sniff before proceeding to track the creature down, with Vale and the rest of the team following behind. It wasn't long before a roar could be heard, and that Blue Moon found the apex. The Indochacoon was on Main Street, killing anyone and anything in its path. As the creature was about to kill another civilian, Blue Moon sprung into action and charged forward, knocking the monster to the ground. The two Indoraptor hybrids had a fierce battle that caused damage to Main Street. While the two fought, the remaining ACU members tried to tranquilize the Indochacoon in hopes of subduing it so it doesn't cause any more damage. The darts did next to nothing, and if anything, deflected off of the creature. The Indochacoon eventually managed to pin Blue Moon to the ground. The injured Indolicen howled very loudly to call her packmates. Her howl was followed by answering howls, and her direwolf packmates immediately rushed to her aid and began attacking the Indochacoon. With the combined efforts, Blue Moon and her packmates finally managed to bring down the Indochacoon and kill it. Not only that, but they also ripped the creature apart until it was nothing but bones. Dr. Vale covered her eyes and held Dr. Wu tightly as the carnage was unbearable to watch. After the Indochacoon was defeated, Blue Moon and her packmates rushed back to their enclosure, but not before Blue Moon licked Dr. Vale as one last goodbye. A few days later, 
InGen caught the culprits behind the creation and that they were biosyn workers posing as InGen scientists in order to sabotage InGen's operations. Dr. Vale and Dr. Wu made it perfectly clear to the other scientists that no one is allowed to create another Apex without Dr. Vale's permission. <laughs>